So I don't know, maybe you're finding it out to get a keyword for your uh, next paperback or your ebooks on Amazon. That is why I'm making this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get keyword very fast, even as a beginner. Maybe you want to make books, you don't know where to go about it. You don't even know which one is profitable and all uh, related stuff. So that is why we'll be making this video. I advise you take time, take a, uh, should I say bottle of water or a glass of water, stay calm and just connect yourself and learn. You can take your pen and your paper and jot down something because this is going to be more educational. Okay, so now, uh, first of all, now uh, it's very important you understand the difference between haul, all year, and books, uh, and understand where you are sending your book to. And should you even use um, Ignito browser or you should use normal browser? What I advise is always turn Ignito browser so that um, your search. Because there will be, there's no catch when it comes to Ignito browser and the results are almost accurate. Then, for your extensions to work at Ignito browser, there is need for you to turn them on. So, for example, these are your extensions. I don't know. You, you can search for your own if you're using your phone, uh, using the Kiwi browser, you're using Brave browser or Yandex browser, any of these browser, you can turn Ignito. So, let's assume I want to turn it for these, uh, like DS Amazon Quick View. I could click on it once. For you to get that, uh, okay, let me just go straight to that place. Uh, okay, so we have this now. Then I'm going to come here. Let me see. Oh, okay, let me manage these extensions. Yes, so I'm going to manage this extension. From here now, I could move down, down to that extension. Then I will see allow in, in incognito. Sorry, I say ignito. Incognito. So now you can turn it on and off. Now, it should be on for all extensions you want. But if you don't want it, you can turn that off. Now you know that. Let me go back to my this. So we're going to come straight to Amazon.com. This is the portal. Now if we are in this. It means our result will be accurate. The next thing you want to change is change from Nigeria or Africa or depending on where you are doing this stuff. If it's Ghana, come here. Look for any zip code of your choice that is in the U.S. market and change. Now you can see I'm using 10001. You can change to uh, Los Angeles, depending. But let's leave that at New York for now. Then if you want to do your search, ensure it's at all and not at books. Some of us, we are confused. We'll want to use books. When you use all, it gives you accurate search amount. But when you use books, it, you think it's profitable. No, it has just niched down and... If you are not careful enough, you might not get the accurate result. So leave it at all department. Now, when you come here, you want to search for something. There is always Amazon uh, suggest that will tell you, hey, this is the first thing. So for example, now I want to search for something like uh, paints. And I want to talk about uh, heal, uh, books for, about healing and paints. I want to write a real book on paints and healing. So I might come here and say healing and pain. Again, I'm going to see a lot of stuff here. You can see. So now, though I'm using this extension, um, yeah. So we have healing back pain. We have the pain of healing books. Yes, you might want to try this. But now we are going to focus on the poem side because I like using poem as a case study. Before I do talk of devotions, if this travel guide, you must. But uh, to do this, I don't want us to stress ourselves that much. Let's use AI to generate some idea about this. Yes. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go straight to this because this is where we have, um, we uh, I'm not doing this at incognito. I want to use um, this AI, which is ChatGPT. If you don't know how to use that, just uh, tap, uh, type this stuff called chat.openai.com and click on enter. So now we're going to start. Now what you're going to do now is you're going to say hello because it's very key. Just talk to this stuff like human being and see. So um, now... Is going to reply yes yeah, going to reply and say how can i assist you today now you say it i want to make make a book a poem book book on um healing okay i just made mistake here let me just see let's just correct this so this is what we should put there on healing for broken art uh suggest a long tail keyword for amazon shoppers 
or buyers. Then, act as Amazon algorithm. Then we're going to hit on enter and see what comes up. So now let's see if it's going to say something better. Now we say healing poetry for broken art, emotional recovery, and this. Now you might see you say suggest long tail keyword. You can say five. So that I can give you five different types of long tail keyword. And let's see what comes up. Now let's just wait. So we have healing poetry, we have emotional resilience through healing. So now this is not enough you might say is this what people will be searching when finding this book on amazon we're trying to just tweak some stuff and get idea this is not the end of it we're going to test them and see so now this long take you are crafted a line okay i advise essential to all the stories okay you say all right so make me order long tail key word now let's see what comes up then we can now go into the search and see what we have so we have empowering poetry vice collection of these emotional restoration true poetry all these are just topic okay we have poems too we have a poem two. We can try this. Now we are going to come into the um, search now at uh, this ignito. Then we're going to try that. We're going to say poem two. Let's write poem to mend. Let's see poem two. So now we're going to put that in at all department and see what comes. If we have a good search, we have uh okay, the spelling here is not good, that is why. So we're gonna write uh either. So now we're going to put this now. Then we'll see what comes out out of this. Now we can see poem to read aloud, poem to love, poem to my daughter, poem to my daughter. Then let's just eat poem to my daughter and see. So now we'll see we have 1,000 search results, which means a lot of people have written about this. And it's not good enough because this is what I used first. So we want it to be better. So we are going to come here now and say a poem for. Because it's good you understand all the simple preposition. So let's say poem four and see if there is anything that comes out of that. So now let's just wait and hit on enter and see. So let's say poem four. Uh, because we're supposed to um, a suggest tab should come down so that we'll see what we're really searching because this is very, very key. It seems the network is a bit slow. We just have to exercise a little patient and we are good to go. So now poem four. Now we are almost at it all right so right now you can see with this preposition we're able to get some keyword what people are searching for you can see we have poem for every night of the year we have poem for the sign book poem for granddaughter poem for funeral poem for fall um love poem books you see this is another one uh maybe we want to talk about poem for uh funeral now it means this funeral means since other people are searching for funeral means People will be searching for poem for healing. Uh, a lot of things. Other will be searching for poem for girlfriend or poem book. You can even come here and say poem book for. So that for men, for girlfriend, for stuffs, and just ensure it's like this. You have love and wine poem books. We have poem book for um, broken art. You can see. So we have for couples, for women, and all this. You can even space and put uh, something like G because most of you try using the alphabet. These are very key. You try using the alphabet there and just uh, see we have that's for G for grief. Then you can say for H and see what looks there. I'm just trying to give you way we can go on with this search and search and get for R, for men, for H. Maybe you don't like that. You can write for, uh, for Z and see if there's anything related to Z. If there's nothing related to this, you have Zodiac poem book, it means you can make that. So all you can even come and say for A and see poem book for A and see what comes out when the key on A. So we have about mental health. You see, maybe we want to write about mental health. You can click on that and see how many search this. Now we have 4,000 search. It means that still a lot of people are write that. Then you can say poem book for mental health and and because you want to add and to it so that it reduces the stuff so we have that poem book for mental health 
and okay network okay we're almost at it okay we have sad poem books about mental health you can see what people are searching for it means people keep on searching and so now we're going to come here and say poem book f about mental health and so now uh it's going to come up soon and we have that because some all these are network based so now if you look at the screen i've just do some tweaking um i have to come straight and say poem book for healing instead of using and because i was doing a poem book for mental health i decided to change for healing comma trauma you can decide to make it shorter now you can see instead of moving from uh 4000 move down to 581 result which means you've uh, successfully niched down to so with this now you can go with it all you have to wait for is just wait for this to load to give you uh the score and the bestseller rank um i remember i prepared a document on actually this yes let me check my document um let me try open something here then let me open something because i have to show you something very very superb so at this place let's just open this poem then i'm going to open uh stuff the network is a bit slow this morning so this is how i used to put my own keyword and i'm moving around and just try you see poem books about mental health poem books about all this all this command stuff childhood trauma and them so i'm going to go to file i will open some uh one document on how to get verified uh keyword how to do your proper keyword i saw this on twitter i just copied it and keep it there so now let's move down you see how to find iPad. okay so we're going to open this and it's going to come up when it come up then we're good to go so now how to find iPad profitable keywords now you got four years this is what i saw on twitter the two simple step to create a book with this first word is called keyword research this is very key when i mean extra means you should keep on doing the research till you get something uh, very important do for one do for second do for third get at least three different keywords then analyze it when it says you analyze it means it should be an evergreen formula evergreen means book that are not trend that will keep on selling it's not bad to do trend trend can give you the money at that moment but if you want to keep on making sales forever for a good time it's good you just talk about evergreen something like uh cure for diabetes cookbooks they are all evergreen devotions they are all evergreen so let's start with keyword research method one amazon best-selling categories yes let me tell you what that really mean so that you really understand this very well so from here if the network is good enough i'm going to just come here now then let's just put this location i've said i'm going to use los angeles right now you can get a lot of ones here so now this stuff if it doesn't come up there is no need so now uh, let's just move down let me tell you what is amazon categories over here now you can see this one is amazon categories these are all categories here so now it means this guy ranked at christian inspiration trust me you might say oh, this guy you're not telling us the name of all these extensions it's part of your course for those so if you, if you don't get it just um check on your extension categories finder you will see all this there it's very very simple so uh or just search on google best extensions for uh best extensions to add to your amazon and you will get that immediately a lot of extensions so uh now from here now you can see this category is all seated let me pull this closer to this guy okay this is what we're using so and then um browse amazon best uh, analyze the title of the top 50 books in each category and subcategories uh when we talk about subcategories let me explain what that mean now it means you see here now from here this book is called christian living that is the category under it we have a lot of things there so now let's say i click on uh, christian inspiration it means this book if you want to make books about this is going to fall on christian inspiration so now from here this category we have uh, the, uh amazon this uh, any department then books that is why you see here has changed from this so from here from all department it moved to a subcategory called books then we're moving down to christian books move down to christian living then under this we have all these then called inspiration so if you go under books and christian books and bible you are going to see inspiration when it comes to this kind of book called paperback i believe this is a paperback depending so now you can see now what we're going to do now is you see this book tops one year making a lot of sales and a lot of sales now you can see their top word all hope is found 
then we have upon walking 60 daily reflections so one keyword here is called 60 daily reflection you can move on to the next one and see if there's anything here how to experience god these are what you had in your back end back end because so that your book can pop up when you're done with your research we have daily devotion prayers this is a very good keyword then we have a uh, spiritual direction for every day move on we have damage but not destroyed from trauma to triumph this is another word there you can move on uh, miracle no wise word for moms you can decide to go with that then all these categories means when people said your book is going to pop up here this is very key you understand all this now when you're done you can analyze it jot down all the keyword contained in the title on spreadsheet then all this said leverage publication on multi-dollar companies house find one of these publishing house what it means if you want to get an uh, email from them that is when you can read down yourself and see what we have so that i don't waste too much time i believe i've even done more than i should do in this tutorial but i've explained everything about the keyword research for example you want to do a travel guide there is not it's not good you just go there and just put on some travel guide no you can say i want to make a travel guide for let's say london now let's see what it says because it's good you talk to this guy because all these guys to all these ai too they are smart so don't just do things with your head and stuff then it's going to come up and tell you a research and familiarize yourself define your audience yes determine the target audience of your are you writing for budget travelers you, you see now that if you niche down all the subcategories on that travel guide they are luxury tourists they are families they are solo adventurers or other stuff so now you can see uh from here now okay so um what okay you can say what do you advise when niching down on london travel guide then it's going to come up with some idea if possible i'm just doing this all from scratch anyway i didn't practice this i'm just doing this so identify your niche that is very import important consider yes from here we have consider your interests and expertise what aspect of london do you have in-depth knowledge of good now you have that we have you can see choose a specific audience focus on teams of topic provide all this use a unique angle other stuff then you can say um okay um countries or let's just say regions or states okay let's use states in london and see if it say anything because it's not good just good as a travel guide for london it's good you 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 niche down then you, you've seen england scotland so you can now come and say if you want to write your own you can now say travel guide for england scotland and wales discover the eating beauty depending on what of england tourist tourist center hotel depending on what you want to write that is that is the idea about making a travel guide then when you have this you can now tell charge bt and say hey now i want you to write what are the most beautiful places in london tell me then if you want to get those places you can come here you want to make map there is map in canva yes canva give us the power of map you can come here to the apps let me just search for app and let's click on app it's going to come depending on how good network is then we'll come here and search for map map then we're going to put on enter then uh with your smartphone you should be able to do this as well now you can see google map these are attached to this now you can come in here and say it uh, wales in london so that you can attach that map now you see okay we, we don't have that so let's say london itself let's come to london okay uh google maps so you can see uh this place let's get this london let's put on london and see so you can see we have this all this from here now curious then if you want to add that you can if you have london let's say scotland scotland okay there is nothing like that then let's see uh, another one let's see scotland I'm trying to just use the map if it's is good for anyone you can see we have uk scotland in uk so if you want to use anything just keep on tweaking the stuff and use it now if i want to use this on my design i'm going to just click on it and it's going to appear in my design so you can see here it will load and we have this design so if i make it bigger then we have this design attached 
to it. So that is one way to get all this stuff. I've told you how to use ChatGPT. I analyzed a lot of things, how to find a better niche. Then I even showed you how to uh, get the stuff on Amazon and how to niche down either in books and incognito. And I believe this is very, very helpful to you. You can move on with your own idea. Just try brainstorm some idea and niche down because research is the key for anything. Your book cover might be good, all that, but if you don't do proper research, you might not make any sales. I believe this video is helpful and there's one thing you do for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell so that we can connect as family in case I make any video related to Amazon or other making platform so that you can fine tune your art to it and learn. Don't forget to share this to your friend down KDP. Um, at, uh, encourage them to do their best as well. And don't forget to give me a like if this video is helpful. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching.